Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun Godzilla vs. Kong video, I'm going to show you guys the fight scene where they are both under the water after Kong has fallen into the water and Godzilla has attacked him. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with this drawing, we're going to begin with Kong's face right here. We're going to put it kind of a little bit higher up because we have a lot to fit in this picture. Some of it's definitely going to have to go off of the paper. Now to start with this, I'm going to begin but just by making a little line that's going to go down and then it's going to curve up and down like this. Then I'll add another little line right here. And then we'll add another line that's going to go down and it's going to come up for his little eyebrows. Starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up and then around. And another one here, it's going to go up and around for his eyes. Next, beginning here, we're going to make a little line that's going to go up and down. And then another one's going to come up and then down like this for his nose. Make a little line that's going to go down and it's going to come up and down here for his inside of his nostrils. Next, starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up and then down here. Make a couple little bumps, and I'm going to go up and then down right around here. I'm just going to add a couple little curved lines underneath here for his eyes. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down for his mouth. I'm going to add a little line that's going to go down. We're going to come right around here and then down to here. Then starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to come all the way down. Next, starting right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down for one of his long canines. And then I'm just going to make some smaller teeth right here. I'll make another one that's going to go down and out here. Next, we're going to make a line that's going to come down. I'll draw another kind of bigger tooth here, and then we'll put like some smaller ones right here, and then another big one there. Then we'll just connect this line to here. Then we'll make a little line down, and another little line that curves across. And I'm just going to connect this line right here. Next, we'll make a line that's going to go out and then in. And we'll do another one out here. It's going to go out and then in. Now starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down. I'm going to make it kind of zigzag and pointed because it's going to be his beard. Then it's going to come up to here. Right around here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go out and then it's going to come to here for the side of his face. And we'll kind of bring it down a little more. Next, starting here, I'm going to bring this line up and in just a bit. I'm going to bring this line back, make it kind of zigzag, and we're going to round it off on the top here. Starting here, we're going to make a little line that's going to curve right around for the ear and put a little design right in there. I'm going to make a little line that's going to come out to here, and the one's going to come down here. Now, starting right about here on his face, I'm going to make a little line coming out here just to kind of show where his, his arm's going to be. We're going to make a little line that's going to come out to here, too. And then inside of here, let's make a line that's going to come right around with another little line in here for his tongue. Starting right about here, we're going to make a little line that's going to go up. And then up here, I want to start with his fist. We'll start with one of his fingers, we'll make a line that's going to go down, and then it's going to come right around, and we'll come up like this. We'll make this next one a little higher, we'll just go down and then connect. And then we'll make another one right here, we'll just do three fingers, because that's about all we'll see from this angle. And then we'll just kind of put a little line right around here, kind of where his thumb would be. Next I'm going to bring this line up, and then I'm going to bring it back. And then I'm going to just kind of bring it out to about here. And then I'm just going to bring it down. 
and then we're going to come up. And I'm just kind of sketching this out just to make it look like it's a little bit furrier. We'll add a couple little lines here, and then I'm just going to bring this line up to here for his hand. Then I'm going to make a line that's going to curve down to here. And this will just kind of show where his arm's going to be, like he's kind of bringing it back to punch Godzilla when he's underwater. And then starting here, we'll just make a little bit of a line coming down for his body. Next, starting over here, we want to begin with Godzilla. So I'm going to start right up here because I want to keep Godzilla's face right about where Kong's is, maybe even just a, actually a little bit higher. So I'm going to start right about here, and I'm going to just make a little line that's going, going to go down, and it's going to come back like this. And we're going to make a little line that's going to go down and then up like this for the eye. I'm going to bring this line up and then down a little bit to kind of show where that eyebrow ridge is. And then starting here, we're going to make a little line that's going to go up, and then we're going to bring it back, and we're going to make, kind of come to a point back here. Starting right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go out, and I'm going to bring it down. We'll go a little bit farther out, and then bring it down. And then we're going to come down to here to kind of form his front of his mouth. I'm going to bring the line that's going to come back, and then it's going to curve up like this and down. Then we're going to make a line that's going to come down, and we're going to curve it to here. Make a little line that's going to go down and over. And we'll make one more that's going to go down, and it's going to curve up. And we're going to bring it right up here for the jaw. Make a little line that kind of stretches down here. Then right along here, we're going to add some sharp teeth on the top and the bottom for Godzilla. And we'll make a little line that's going to go down, and it's going to come out here for the tongue. Next, starting here, I'm just going to bring this line out and then back in just a little bit, kind of show where his neck is going to be. And then starting here, we're going to make a little line that's going to curve down for his neck. Then once we get to here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to curve down. Then after I curve it down, I'm going to bring a little line that's going to come out, and then it's going to go out to here. Make a little line that's going to come up, and then back like this. Then we're going to make a little line that's going to go up and then down for one of his fingers. We're going to bring it back, make it nice and pointy. I'm going to make another one here. It's going to go out, it's going to come down, and it's going to come back. Not quite as long. Then this last one's going to be a lot smaller. Just go down and then bring it up, and then we'll curve it up to here. Starting here, we're going to bring this line back at an angle, and then we're going to bring it up to kind of form that other arm. Now, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to make Godzilla look really skinny for a minute. So I'm just going to start right here, and I'm just going to bring a long kind of line that's going to come right down here. It's going to make him look really skinny, but we'll fix it in a little bit. Now, starting right about here on his arm, I'm going to add just a little line that comes down. And then starting here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go out, and then it's going to come down like this at an angle. Then starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down. It's going to come to a curve and back. And then one more, it's going to come to a curve and back here. And we're going to come down. This is going to be his leg right here. Next, starting here, we're going to bring it up. Then I'm going to bring this line out. And then up like this, kind of lined up with his knee. I'm going to start in here, make a nice long curved line and bring it to here. Now, starting here, this is what I was talking about, how things are going to kind of go off the page. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to make a long line. It's going to curve right around here past his foot, and then it's going to come out here for his tail. We're going to end it like this, and we're going to bring it right back towards the end of our paper. 
Now, starting over here, we want to begin kind of adding some of Godzilla's spikes. And the reason I kind of made them look really skinny is because we're going to be adding a lot of spikes over here. So starting right about here, I'm going to add just some kind of pointed, jagged spikes right along here. And I'm going to slowly start making them get bigger and taller. They're going to have to kind of run off the paper if you're running out of room. We're going to make these get really kind of pointed and jagged all around here. Then when they get to here, I'm going to kind of turn them just a little bit, make them a little bit more pointed, kind of like a shark fin. And then as I get down here, I'm just going to make some more like really skinny ones so it looks like they're kind of turning. Then starting up here, I'm going to add just a couple little small ones right along the back of his neck. And then I'm going to add just a few more kind of little spikes right in between here. We're going to add a couple little lines underneath them too. Just to kind of show that there are some, there's just got a couple layers of spikes on here. And then I'm going to start here and just add a little line that's going to curve around. And that kind of helps him make it like, look like he's not so skinny. Then I'm going to come back here and add just a few more little spikes. And I'll add a couple more over here. I'm going to add a couple more spikes right along here. And I'm going to add some more spikes over here. And I'm going to add a few more. We'll bring a couple more up here. And just a couple more right around here. Now we want to come over here and kind of finish off Kong. So I'm going to come in here, I'm just going to add a long line, it's going to go right to here to kind of show where his other arm would be. Then I'm going to bring a line down and then up. Then we'll make a little line, it's going to curve right to here. I'm going to curve this down. I'm going to make another line, it's going to curve down, it's going to come up and then around here. And we'll curve it back down for his chest. We'll make another line, it's going to curve up here. I'll start here by making a line that's going to kind of go right down here for his body. We're going to curve this up a little bit, add a couple little lines down here. And then right here I'm going to add a little line that's going to go down, and it's going to curve up to here. And then starting here I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down. And then I'm going to bring it up, and then back here I'm going to make a little line that's going to go down and up, down and up, and then down and up here for his foot. Next, I'm going to bring this line up, and we're going to curve this right up to here. Okay, so here's our basic drawing of our Kong versus Godzilla underwater. It's we've got a lot of uh, drawing in here. Now we want to come in here and add all the details. So I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part so we can kind of keep this video just a little bit shorter because I know it's kind of getting long. So one of the things we want to do are add some quick little details onto Kong. Just some fast little things like this, just for to show like where there's some hair and different things. So we're just going to add some different details like this. A couple little broken lines right around here. You can always add a couple little lines right around his eyes and nose. I'm going to add a couple little wrinkle lines kind of on the, his knuckles and everything, just to show where they're bending. And then a couple more little lines right around here. I'm going to add a few little lines on here and then maybe a couple little kind of long skinny lines for like some scratch marks on them. I'm going to add a few kind of curved lines onto his toes down here and maybe with a couple of curved lines for some toenails. We don't want to add too many lines on here because it starts to not look that great. We'll let our colors kind of come in here and add those extra little details for us. Now let's work on Godzilla. I'm going to start by adding a couple little curved lines underneath his eyes here. We're going to make some long kind of broken lines right around his mouth and a couple little lines up here for his nose. A couple little extra lines. Make some long kind of lines coming down here. 
little lines that are going to go down and curve around. He's got these kind of gills that help him breathe underwater, so we'll add some of those. And then just a couple little extra broken lines all around here. I'm going to add a little kind of broken line up here, and then some more little lines right around here for some extra details. I'm going to go and just add some kind of long broken lines right along here just for some added extra details onto the arms and everything. We're going to add some little lines around here. And I'm just going to make some long kind of broken lines right around here too. And we're going to add some curved lines for the claws. And then just a couple little extra detail lines right around here. A couple little curved lines where his knee would be. And then some extra little lines all over here. I'm going to make some kind of long broken lines going different directions on his body just to add some extra detail. And we're going to make some nice big long broken curved lines all along his tail here. I'm also going to go and add just a few little spikes coming down his tail. Not as many as he would have, but we're just kind of getting some details in. We're not going for a super hyper-realistic drawing. I'm going to come in here and add some long broken lines onto every single one of his spikes. We're just going to add some quick little lines onto each one. Lots of nice little broken lines. We're going to put these all around. And we're going to do some different ones up here. He's got a lot of spikes on here, so we want to kind of fill in as many as we can with some different details. I also like to come in here and make a few little extra lines coming from the top. Just kind of make some extra nice looking lines on here. And I'm going to add just a couple little extra lines. Totally up to you how you want to do this. You can just add little random lines wherever you want to. Just to kind of fill it in as much as you can. Then I'm going to add Kong's pupils right here. I'm going to add one on Godzilla too. A little detail for his nose right there. And there you go. There is your drawing of Kong versus Godzilla in the underwater scene. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.